today i will tell you about the cream sorbet cream prathak kali ke this ko hindi to isse pehle i have told you about the centrifugal force or fictitious force or pseudo force as the name suggests that this is the device which separates the cream from the milk and it is based upon the principle of centrifugal force cream separate it is the device used to separate cream from milk it is based on centrifugal force <clears throat> the first cream separator machine was manufacturer by gustav d lave gustav d lave now it is many companies and industries are manufacturing the cream separator machine on large scale large scale these machines are used in milk dates in milk dates actually this machine has a bowl which is uh, fitted on a rotating frame which is rotated by means of a machine or by some motor electric motor the bowl is filled with the milk and then this is rotated at high speed 
so when this is rotated at a high speed the cream particle being light are collected at the center of the bow and remaining all particles are away from the center of bow different particles of are collected at the different paths of radius having different radius so this is based upon the centrifugal force it contains a bowl bowl yani katora to ek sakuna ek belna ka hota hai to कटोरे जैसी शेप का होता है कंडेंसिव बाउल विच इज रोटेटेड एट हाई स्पीड बाय मीन्स ऑफ ए ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रिक मोटर तो आजकल ये इलेक्ट्रिक मोटर से करते हैं लेकिन जिस समय इसका मैन्युफैक्चर किया था गुस्ताफ ने तो इसको हाथ से बनी हुई वो मशीन होती थी तो इसको हैंडल के द्वारा हाथ से इसको तेजी से ऐसे घुमाया जाता था तो कटोरा जो था तो ऐसे घूमता था लगा था यूं करके तो जब कटोरा घूमता था तो उसमें भरा हुआ जो दूध होता था उसकी जो क्रीम होती थी उनमें से That cream get collected at the center, और उससे हम आइडिया लगाते थे that how much the milk is pure uh, or impure. Let's uh, suppose we are having a this. This is a machine This I am made a bowl This I have taken the particles of different densities. Let its density is d1, its density is d2, and its density is d3. This density, the particle d3, uh, this particle has the higher density in comparison to all other two particles. And this is the milk. This is the milk. When this is rotated. then this particle follow this path and it follow this path and this follow this path and let this in our radius r1 this in our radius r2 this in our radius r3 This is the electric motor. This is electric motor. Suppose this is the portion A, B, and this is the portion A dash and B dash, and this is the milk. This is milk. So what we have? This is the electric motor. Electric motor. This is rotated like this. So this is the bow. This is what the bow. 
and in this bowl we are have this the this is the milk this is the milk and this is rotated from left to right means clockwise consider three particles of densities d1 d2 and d3 and d3 D1 less than D2 less than D3. So this particle is heavier one. This particle is lighter one. And this the, this particle has the density between this D1 and D3. As so in position. A B of the bow of the bow. <coughs> when bow is rotated. the particles follows follow circular path circular path of different radii depending upon Heavy particles follow paths circular paths of large radius while Lighter particles follows circular path of a small radius, a small radius. So this are two. This is the higher particle. It will follow the path of radius R3. This is the lighter particle. It follows the red circular path of smaller radius R1. The centri fuel force X equally on all particles. So centrifugal force जो होते हैं वो सब पर बराबर होते हैं, लेकिन इसकी वजह से इस पर जो पास होते हैं ना, 
path of the circle ray of this uh, uh, particles are different depending upon their densities. So now let's for light particle. For lateral particle, centrifugal force F equal to mv square upon R. For heavier particle, This Fs is equal to Mb square upon capital R. We have this capital M, the mass of the particle, heavy particle, radius of this one. This is small m, the mass of the lateral particle, and R, the radius of the lateral particle. <coughs> so, Fs is equal to F. This is now your mb square upon R is equal to mb square upon R. So now this b square and b square will cancel. So what we have? m upon b small m equal to R upon R. So from here you can find or m is equal to m into R upon b small r. So what we have, since m is greater than small m, so r is greater than small r. It means that the heavy particle will follow the uh, path of higher radius and the smaller particle will follow the path of smaller radius. In the milk, cream particles are lighter than any other particle in the milk. So all the cream particles get collected at the center of the bowl. The cream particles are lighter particles than any other particle. in the milk. So green particles get collected at the center. They are separated from the milk. So, what is that? That uh, the cream particle being lighter. So, this is the cut of the hair. So, if we say that we have to rotate it, what is it? So, what is it? The cream particle. They come near the center and all other particles are away from this 
axis of rotation. So this particle are collected at the center and they are taken away from the milk. Thus the cream is separated from the milk. Thus cream is separated from the milk. This, so this is the uh, working of the screen circuit. So sometimes uh, the question is asked that uh, what force acts when uh, uh, cream is separated from by means of the cream separator. So your answer is the centrifugal force or you can name it to be the virtual force or pseudo force or the fictitious force. So I have told you other many, so many other examples of this uh, uh, friction on which the machines are based on the centrifugal force. This is one of them. This is very important and nowadays in all milk dairies, the, a large number of machines are uh, installed to separate the cream and to make the milk of different densities. So you have seen that uh, the pure milk uh, that we have uh, that is costly and any other milk that is in fact in the polythene that uh, have the very less amount in comparison to the pure milk. So this is what that uh, the cream is separated from the milk. Thank you.